They bought it. A tribute to Matthew Broderick, more than Ferris Bueller. Actor and director Matthew Broderick is undoubtedly known best for his portrayal of Ferris Bueller, however has given many other memorable performances as well, written by Sean Aversa. Career changing success. It would be a tall task to find someone today, let alone at the peak of his popularity in the 1980s, that would not recognize the face of Matthew Broderick. The iconic poster of the John Hughes 1980s coming of age comedy Ferris Bueller's Day Off sets Broderick with his hands behind his head, kicking back, just as his iconic character sets out to do in the film. Bueller? Bueller? Bueller is undeniably Broderick's most well-known role and changed his life forever. However, while he may forever be known as Ferris Bueller, that does not and should not minimize the expansive career Broderick has achieved with countless other memorable roles that will live on forever. Only by walking through Broderick's filmography can one properly pay homage to the dedication, work, and talent he has displayed throughout his career. Shall we play a game? The Beginning Broderick got his first big break in the 1983 film War Games, which featured the young actor as a high school teen who accidentally finds his way into a military computer system thinking it is a role-playing game and nearly causes the outbreak of a third world war. The film, while silly, is incredibly entertaining, specifically because of Broderick. The charm and charisma that would be seen soon in his performance as Ferris Bueller is on full display in this film, and stands out as the best performance in the film. Is there any way to make it play itself? Again, Broderick established himself as a leading man in the Richard Donner medieval film Lady Hawk, which also starred Rudger Howard and Michelle Pfeiffer. A year later, Broderick would appear in a supporting role in the drama On Valentine's Day, which also starred Richard Jenkins. In 1986, Ferris Bueller's Day Off released to theaters and garnered praise from fans and critics alike. Broderick starred as the titular character and became a near overnight sensation as the charming, hilarious, fourth wall breaking character that ditches school with his best friend and girlfriend. I quote John Lennon, I don't believe in Beatles, I just believe in me. The film went on to become one of the most successful and iconic coming of age comedies of all time. The film paired outrageous moments and laughs with a heartfelt story of friendship, love, and growing up. The film is expertly crafted with one of the most compelling scenes taking place at the Art Institute in Chicago as Broderick's character shares a moment with Mira Sara, while Alan Ruck's character gazes at a painting in an excellent example of visual storytelling. Ferris Bueller's Day Off would change the course of Broderick's career forever. Oh please God, please let there be a subway near here. Come on. Post Ferris. Broderick's next film after Ferris Bueller's Day Off would come in the form of science fiction comedy Project X where he portrays an Air Force pilot who joins a military experiment involving chimps. The film was praised by critics even if it did not blow the doors off the box office, and shows again why Broderick was one of the most charismatic stars of his generation, stealing scenes from all his co-stars including Helen Hunt and an adorable chimpanzee. Broderick's next hit would be comedy-drama Biloxi Blues, where Broderick would star as a young man drafted into the military and sent to serve in Biloxi, Mississippi. Based on the play of the same name, the film would garner a warm reception that was highlighted by the performances of Broderick and his co-star Christopher Walken. I speak from experience, having served 14 months. In 1989, Broderick would star in what would become his most dramatic role yet in Edward Zwick's Civil War drama, Glory. The film also starred Denzel Washington and Carrie Ells, and was an incredibly poignant, impactful film that shined a spotlight on bravery, bigotry, and growth. As the film was based on a true story, Broderick portrayed Colonel Robert G. Shaw, Broderick is excellent in the role, perfectly portraying the character in each step of his journey as he grows as a commanding officer and as a man. The scenes between Broderick and Washington are powerful and engaging, and it is only natural that the film would go on to be nominated for five Academy Awards, winning three. You know, your resemblance to the guy... New types of roles. After a few films such as The Freshman, a crime comedy that set Broderick opposite the legend Marlon Brando, Broderick took his first voice acting role in the small animated film The Thief and the Cobbler, further diversifying his portfolio. While the film unfortunately did not make many waves, his next animated role did. In 1994, Broderick would lend his voice talents to the role of Simba in Disney's The Lion King. 
Broderick perfectly portrays the young, cocky lion and is a standout performance amongst many other standout performances, such as Jeremy Irons' Scar and James Earl Jones' Mufasa. The Lion King would go on to become one of the most praised, successful, and popular animated films ever made, notching four Academy Award nominations and two wins. You knew my father? Correction, I know your father. In 1996, Broderick would direct his first film, Infinity, in which he would also star in. The film would depict the true life of physicist Richard Feynman and would also star Patricia Arquette. While the film would be Broderick's only directorial effort, Infinity garnered mostly positive reactions from audiences. The same year, Broderick would star opposite Jim Carrey in the infamous Ben Stiller-directed comedy The Cable Guy, solidifying again Broderick's comedic chops. Well, maybe I shouldn't have come at all. Two years later, Broderick would star in Roland Emmerich's Godzilla, a film that garnered mixed reactions at the time, but is now looked back on fondly by many. Broderick would return to Disney-produced films in 1999's Inspector Gadget, portraying the titular character of the film. While of course incredibly silly, the film was beloved by many children of the time and stands out as one of Broderick's most outlandish performances. Under the right circumstances, a producer could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. The Modern Day Entering the 2000s, Broderick has continued to produce hits such as holiday film Deck the Halls, which pitted him opposite Danny DeVito in the ultimate holiday power struggle, and The Tale of Despero, where again, Broderick would supply his voice talents to an animated film with charm and heart. Broderick would continue to give iconic voice acting performances in 2007's The Bee Movie, opposite Jerry Seinfeld. In 2011, Broderick would join the A-list cast of the Kenneth Lonergan film, Margaret, which also starred Matt Damon and Mark Ruffalo. Broderick, unable to kick the comedy itch, also played a supporting role in the Eddie Murphy and Ben Stiller-led comedy heist film, Tower Heist. I don't think he operated it himself. All right, can we just focus, please? It's 16 degrees. That's right, let's focus. Some of his most recent roles include portraying himself in Amy Schumer's Trainwreck, as well as a small dramatic role in the Oscar-winning Manchester by the Sea. Matthew Broderick, decades later, continues to impress in his excellent performances and further diversifying and expand upon an already incredible career. Everyone has heard of the dreaded typecast and actors and actresses being unable to break a mold after starring in a truly special hit. However, Matthew Broderick not only broke the mold, but went above and beyond delivering dramatic performances, iconic voice acting roles, and even more laughs. While he will always be known as Ferris Bueller in many audience members' hearts, it is undeniable that Matthew Broderick is so much more. What do I say? Find me a chance to be a Broadway producer. What's next for Matthew Broderick? Be on the lookout for Matthew Broderick's next film, She Came to Me, also starring Anne Hathaway and Marissa Tomei, currently in pre-production.